How many of you have? Uh, how many of you have never been to Phantom? Been to Cthulhu for President before? Why? Why are you here? Is there literally nothing else going on? No, absolutely nothing else. Well, shit, you're gonna listen to a fat man ramble on for a little while. All right, so uh, my name is Andre. I'm the campaign manager for Cthulhu for President. I've been doing this for a long goddamn time. Um, we've been running it here since 2008, which means it's precisely all of your fault that we haven't been elected because I keep voting for Cthulhu and we're still not in office and we're still here chilling us to uh, anime conventions. So what the fuck? Uh, Cthulhu needs no introduction, and if you don't know who Cthulhu is, you, you should just leave. Just, just leave. I'm, I'm not gonna explain anything. Um, we are fundamentally all about why you should never choose the lesser evil. You would never choose the lesser of two pancakes. You would choose the greatest pancake, therefore you should choose the greatest evil. Uh, so the way the, panel, the way the panel goes, I'm gonna go through our cabinet, I'm gonna go through some of our international and domestic initiatives. And then I'm going to open it up for my personally, my favorite and my least favorite part, which is Q&A from the audience. So you can line up there, and that's a good way to guarantee yourself that you can get one of these lovely Cthulhu for President buttons. It's the only way to get it, unless I decide to give them away at the end of the show. But you won't know either way unless you stick around. So let's go ahead and get started. So of course, with every presidential administration, the cabinet is incredibly important. So our president, as always, remains David Lopan. Uh, he is a pillar of the Chinese-American community, and he was recently featured in the wonderful movie Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. That was David Lopin, whether you realize it or not, though. Um, they, he's going by another name. He's sort of wanted by Interpol at this point, but we'll, we'll fix that once he gets elected. Uh, he has centuries of business experience and extremely strong ties to China, and he has experience defeating pesky interlopers, which is always very, very important. Um, and he can also summon Raiden, the God of Thunder, which is always pretty cool. Our Supreme Court Justice nominee will be none other than Judge Dredd, because he will just shoot anybody he feels like he needs to, and I feel like we might need that a little bit more often. Our Secretary of Energy is also Aku, because look at those eyebrows. Those eyebrows alone can power the entire city of New York. That's like great energy savings right there. Our new Commissioner of Food and Drugs, <laughs> The No Substitutions guy, that's how we officially refer to him, because he's very, very moody. But we thought that he was a particularly uh, interesting fellow, and that's why we wanted to bring him in. We feel like the quality of food and drugs will be greatly improved here in the United States, you know, once we do that. Our chairman of the, of the National Endowment of the Arts remains the, uh, the Night King, because he's done some really cool artwork <laughs> that we really love, and who doesn't love screaming zombie kids? Really interesting spiral, stuff like that. Um, we believe very firmly in the arts, and that's one of the reasons why we have him there. Our Secretary of Education remains this child. We still don't know anything about him. We don't know his name, but he fucking loves coloring. And that makes him a lot better than a new, num numerous other Secretaries of Education that we've had. Our Secretary of Homeland Security remains Second Sanchiro. How many of you don't know who this is? For fucking shame. <laughs> walk over there and throw you right now. Our ambassador to the United Nations remains Cookie Monster because we really want to really instill in the world that America is crazy once again. And what better way to do that than to have Cookie Monster up there talking at the General Assembly, berating the rest of the world of how, you know, things would be solved if they just, you know, ate more cookies. Our Secretary of State remains Bill Murray because he's Bill fucking Murray. Still our most powerful cabinet member outside of David Lopan. And even that is a fight I would like to watch. All right, speaking of uh, our two in international heavyweights, uh, international relations. So what will Cthulhu do when elected? Um, because a big part of the presidency is how do we you know, interact with the rest of the world? Uh, step one, we will destroy Japan. Uh, it must answer for tentacle porn. No more hentai, no more moe, no more Evangelion, no more lolly, or any of that fucking crap. Um, and we finally get to see Tokyo Tower destroyed for real. We've been wanting that for a very long time. And let's face it, anime is lame anyways. Um, they're also the reason why we have the word weeb. We do not like the word weeb, therefore they must die. Uh, China, we will continue to improve relations with China's neighbors. And we will work to distinguish 
the people of China from the Communist Party of China, because those guys are kind of assholes. We're going to increase some patrols in the Taiwan Strait, and we're going to recognize Taiwan diplomatically, regardless of what Taiwan wants. We're just going to drag them into this. And two can play at that game. We're going to build our own islands in the South China Sea, but with blackjack and hookers, as God intended. Russia. I mean, as a child of the 80s, we grew up knowing that Russia was the enemy and everybody seemed to forget. So we're going to recruit a dream team to defeat Russian. I obviously can't write in this. I have that same typo for three years in a row. Um, but we're going to recruit Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone, and Charlie Sheen to build together a band of uh, undefeatable action heroes to go in and defeat Russia. We're also going to unleash the full power of the LGBTQ community upon them so that they can really say, we want to hear them say in Russian, sir, the homosexuals, they're attacking. <laughs> we really want to know what that sounds like. And honestly, they, if they can't invade their neighbor, they are weak as fuck. How, how do you fuck that up? Clearly, you just watch the Russians and you learn exactly how you fuck that up. Other countries, we really want to make the world afraid of us again, mostly because we're so crazy. We're going to invite Canada over to tea. I almost, I almost called Canada China, but actually that's not too far off the mark these days. Um, we want to invite them over for tea and then we want to steal all of their maple syrup because it's just glorious nectar. Um, we want to work with Mexico to fight the drug and guns flow between our two countries. We still want to destroy Venezuela's government, but like we said, they're doing a pretty good job on their own, so we're mostly just watching on the sidelines and occasionally pouring some gas on it. We want to continue engagement with other countries um, who want to join NATO. Russia seems to be our biggest ally in this. Um, and we want to develop an APAC version of NATO because, you know, the A in NATO stands for Atlantic. If we start letting people join who aren't attached to the Atlantic, we look like idiots. President Joe Biden. <laughs> so we're ready to fight him, but you know, there's a lot of issues with him. He seems kind of creepy. He's probably the reason why we have cosplay is not consent rule. He looks like he needs to eat more sandwiches and he's just boring. Who wants a boring president? Uh, Cthulhu will be far, far more entertaining. Now we know next year is the presidential election, so we've also got our other opponents lined up. So our likely Republican challengers, we've got Ron DeSantis. He's from Florida, which is honestly sort of, should be the only bullet on the slide. But I don't like negative space, so that's why I put other stuff in there. He looks like he's trying to keep his flesh suit on. I mean, look at him. This doesn't look like somebody who is naturally a human. It looks like he's, he's a lizard person underneath. He probably also has a multi-terabyte collection of bestiality. I mean, just look at him. Um, he's basically a news, uh, a Fox News puppet. He sent unsolicited dick pics to Putin, um, which is not surprising at all. He hates abortion, but he loves kids getting shot. So he's probably okay with a fetus being shot. So, I mean, make that of what you will. We personally love dead babies, and we'll get into that a little bit later, but we don't like competition. Um, he also loves Attack on Titan, and if you like Attack on Titan, you might be a fascist. Greg Abbott. He somehow managed to let people freeze to death in fucking Texas. <laughs> Which is admirable if you want to murder people. And we do want to murder people, but, you know, what can you do? He looks like a bad Mission Impossible face mask, if you think about it. But I don't think many of you have seen Mission Impossible, so maybe that joke doesn't work anymore. <laughs> um, he's also opposed to abortion, but he loves dead kids, so he's really sending mixed messages. And he's absolutely eaten lizards whole. I guarantee you. <laughs> Look at that mouth. He is just all the way in there. He's probably the uh, Joey Chestnut of lizard eating. Um, he loves the Love Live anime, which is a huge fucking strike against him. And he still thinks that Naruto is the pinnacle of anime and Hinata is the best waifu. I don't know what any of this fucking means, but my researchers told me this is true. <laughs> and then, of course, President Donald Trump. <laughs> I mean, the photo sort of says it all. He's yelling at a kid mowing his lawn. And while we love yelling at children who are doing tasks for below minimum wage, he's, he's, he's just not funny anymore. So domestic initiatives, uh, national debt. So, you know, everybody's got a lot of worries about this. So we we're gonna require that Congress pass a budget by February 14th, because fuck Valentine's Day. And we're gonna group them by political party, lock them into a room and only provide a thousand calories per member per day. 
we're going to stream the entire thing so we can give a whole new meaning to the term Hunger Games. This is also going to be a good way of getting rid of some of the really old and ancient geriatric fucking zombies we've got in Congress because they're not going to last very long, I guarantee you. Um, the U.S. Constitution, so we're going to advocate for the removal of the Electoral College. We've been calling for it for fucking ever, and yet none of you listen. Um, we also want to remove the cruel and unusual clause from the uh, Eighth Amendment because we fucking love cruel and unusual punishment. Who, who doesn't? Um, and we also want to repeal the 22nd Amendment. How many of you know which one that is? Yeah, I'm disappointed in the rest of you. That's the one that establishes term limits for presidents. We have term limits, they're called elections, goddammit. Energy initiatives. We really want to invest in our blood for oil program, and we're hoping that the Adeptus Mechanicus can really help us with that. Um, because blood is a renewable resource, so, you know, if you want to fill up your gas tank, we can make it happy, you just have to go donate some blood. Um, we want to invest into more geothermal energy programs, because we've learned from uh, the Lord of the Rings, if you dig really deeply, you find some really cool shit. <laughs> really looking forward to that. Uh, we also want to develop our nuclear program with modern technology because we fucking need it. And we also want to invest more into the dark arts and sciences for greater innovation. Um, our education initiatives, as I mentioned, we want to refocus on the arts and sciences because that's actually something that makes America unique. We don't want everybody just trying to recite how to do, you know, basic algebra over and over and over. That's not particularly interesting. We want to continue to develop the dark arts and sciences, of course. Uh, no debt relief for students unless there was fraud because fuck you. That's why. Um, and we also want to encourage states to implement oversight of rising costs of college. There's a bullet point that got missing because maybe I was drunk while thinking this, but we also want to work with unions to help people um, maybe not go to college, but some people need to go to trade schools instead because there's actually good money in that. So, yeah. Internet uh, infrastructure. We want to designate ISPs as utilities because fundamentally you can't live in an unconnected, you know, world. We live in a connected world and a greater amount of services and needs are done over internet. We also realize that most of you are really weird and just need a lot of porn to keep you quiet. So we want to improve those pipes so that you can shut the fuck up and stay home. You know, we're going to have the NSA improve uh, security because we need to actually start having security. I'm a little bit upset that this graphic I have from 15 years ago doesn't have an S at the end of it because all HTTP should be HTTPS. And that proves I'm a fucking nerd. We also want to invest in modernization of physical infrastructure and require that all physical infrastructure projects have digital infrastructure. So anytime new roads are put down, put down some dark fiber next to them because that solves a non-trivial number of problems. Healthcare. Um, we want to mandate states continue to provide health care for all residents, but in exchange for everybody having health care, 50 people will be chosen every day to be fed to Cthulhu. Um, because we, you know, that's the price you have to pay. And we will also apply Medicare pricing controls across the entire industry. Um, transportation initiatives. As somebody who is a degenerate and drives on the road, hooray for the nine back there in the mountains. Um, you know, we want our roads to be repaired and we want more fiber pulled alongside them. Because anywhere there are roads, there's somebody living out there, we should be able to provide decent internet. Um, we want to modernize our rail system, both for passengers and for cargo. Before we destroy Japan, we're going to kidnap all of their railway engineers. Um, we also want to develop better seaports for cargo management, because the reality is most things still come from overseas. Um, we also want to work on teleportation technology, just like from that wonderful uh, science, uh, science uh, fiction movie, The, the Fly. Drugs. We want to deschedule marijuana and cocaine, um, and then we want to tax the living fuck out of it. Um, we also want to uh, mandate acid usage by, whoa, one of the interns must have snuck this in. That's a good fucking idea. Yeah, yeah. We're going to mandate acid usage for those we feel like messing with. Um, how many people are vapors? Okay, 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 brave, the brave three free souls, you're getting kicked in the nuts every day. <laughs> Mostly because vapors are the vegans of the smoking world. <laughs> All you have to do is say, there's no difference between vaping and smoking, and they're like, well, actually. Yeah, nobody likes you. <laughs> um, and we also want to re remove mandatory minimums for possession of small quantities because that's just ridiculous. Abortion. We continue to support abortion up to and including the 18th year of life. 
Babies are delicious. Dead babies double so. Um, this is something, this is a pillar of the entire platform. I think this is the first joke I ever wrote for this panel back in 2008, and it will never go away, no matter how much it might anger some people. All right, so I've got a few other events going on here. That's the main set of slides. I'm hosting Bad Hentai in this room from 8 to 10. I'm hosting Midnight Madness, which is a collection of really funny videos for three hours. It starts at 11 o'clock and that's over at the Doubletree. And then lastly, I also host the uh, Hentai Music Videos Contest and Exhibition. There's my socials and shit. I only stream once a month. I stream Midnight Madness. That's it.